This is uh, such, such an extraordinary you know, moment. It really and truly is. Um, I, I wanted to share just a little bit of history with you that is, I, I, I think CPAC indicates the need for this. Um, I've, you know, I, I've done this show from CPAC at least probably 10 or 15 years. I mean, you know, I, I don't know how many years I've done it at CPAC, but uh, it was one of my favorite things because I'd go and argue with, you know, Republicans and conservatives and it made good radio and it, it was interesting, it was entertaining. Um, occasionally I'd really, you know, get a zinger in. But there's a new generation coming up right now. And, and this is why I'm, I'm mentioning CPAC. When we used to go there, there it was always filled with young people. It, it, Louise and I were always just, wow, look at this. I mean, most of the people here are in their 20s. Some are in their 30s. Why is that? Well, it turned out that you know, right-wing billionaires were literally giving uh, 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 grants to young people to fly in for CPAC to be indoctrinated as the next shock troops for the Republican Party. And you know, it's still going on. So a CBS YouGov poll found that 61% of 18 to 29-year-olds, basically people under 30, thought the United States should stay out of the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. 61% of people under 30 said stay out. Whereas an identical 61% of people over, uh, of senior citizens, people over, over 60 say we should actively support Ukraine. But what's the difference? The difference is that a 39 year old was born in 1983. They don't, you know, they don't remember the Soviet Union when they were, they were eight, nine years old when the Soviet Union fell. A 29 year old was born in 1993. We've got people voting now who were not, literally were not born when 9-11 happened. So some background here. We joined NATO in 1949 after Czechoslovakia was attacked by the communists and the Soviets blockaded Berlin. It was the Berlin airlift, the Truman administration. They, they had an 11 month airlift into Berlin to bring food and supplies. And then the Marshall Plan that economically stabilized Europe and NATO. Those three things happened in 1949 as a result of the Soviet Union attacking Czechoslovakia. And after the Berlin Wall fell, you know, we were welcoming former members of the Warsaw Pact. You know, Donald Trump in 2017 said NATO is obsolete. And sadly, you know, a majority of people under 30 appear to think so. We really need to, to fill them in on what, what history is.